The Bubble Boys. What's up? It is uh, time two, Greg. This is the second Saturday of happiness. Second Saturday. Gotta love it. Video one dropped today mm -hmm. for Alter Genius. Yeah, it, it turned out perfectly, by the way. Bravo on the editing on your part. You make it so easy, Greg. What can I say? Today we're starting off uh, on the North Shore. We're going to Southern Tier, which is uh, a staple point. I mean, if it's one of those places that some people don't even know it's a brewery because it's yeah. like a, a staple restaurant before Steelers games. Yeah, I feel like, and also Southern Tier gets a bad rap amongst like the actual craft beer enthusiasts because it's not considered local. Or it's like Buffalo. It, it, it's Buffalo area. But mm. what's cool about it, in all seriousness, mm. is the fact that because it's a Pittsburgh location, they do Pittsburgh brewed stuff. So they try oh, yeah. to keep it as local as possible. And Suck honestly, it, Mac. if you've ever been to the location too, I mean, it's as yinzer as you could possibly get. I'm gonna drink a beer now. Me too, I need one. Three bucks an hour. Yeah. That's like a uh, dollar fifty a half hour. Greg, what did you order? I got a Pittsburgh Brew Coffee Blonde Ale. You sound excited. I am. I've had it before. It's delicious. It was the first one that I've ever had that was in a blonde style, which is not something that you see typically with coffee here. So it's pretty cool. I'm excited for this. Big John Mayer guy. So Deke, this one's kind of a unique beer that you decided to... You're getting too good with the camera. You're, well, you're, I mean, you're becoming self-aware. Well, I mean, you know why? Because this case is amazing to hold. You're not going to drop the phone this time? I, I will see. Okay. All right, keep going. Not bad. All right, so this is a really cool, uh, unique beer that you got. It was unique on the menu. What is it? It is a lemon and lime Kolsch. Uh, I used to know a lot about Kolsch's when I worked at Scratch Food and Beverage because they had one called Kolsch Running after the Jamaican bobsled team. Uh, very Pilsner-esque is the best way I can describe it. Uh, but the lemon and lime is something like that. If you know me, I like weird beers. Pineapple's my big trigger word for beer. So lemon and lime Polish Southern Tier. That's really good. It's really, um, really got like lime and lemon citrus bittery to it, but it's a good beer. Action. All right, so like I- Match your camera angle ability. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> so like just as a reminder so this is the coffee blonde ale so again this is not something that you would typically see from a coffee beer the color is light and honestly it looks like you're drinking a blue moon in a weird way so try to taste this now oh that's good <laughs> yeah you get like and what's neat about the fact that it's such a in terms of color and just in terms of like the liquid itself so like most stouts or most porters that coffee beers are they're heavier so you're gonna get like more of kind of the back taste in because of the fact that this is kind of it's so much lighter and stuff it goes down smoother but you get a stronger coffee taste in a weird way as well so if you're a big fan of coffee beers this is definitely something that you should try as well i, I hope they can this i would love to get some honestly all right greg beer number two brother yeah, so after an entire conversation about the Marvel Cinematic Universe that we just had, yeah, yeah I needed to quench my palate now, so I'm drinking a Hazy IPA. This is the Trash Bandit. So, obviously, Hazy IPAs are something that is near and dear to both of our hearts in this one, so it is. It's very true. So, I'm excited to try this. This is also a Pittsburgh brew beer, by the way, so I made the point to make sure that I drank beers that was Pittsburgh brewed specifically to prove the point that this is still kind of a local establishment for anyone out there who thinks Southern Tier is I sold out. Beer. I got a new Haze. I sold out. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's a delicious beer, but yeah, Trash Bandit. Let's throw this. Yep, clean, clear, hazy IPA, exactly what you want. It has actually a really strong fruity taste at the end of it, which is something that you don't normally get because most hazy IPAs, they use orange, they use grapefruit, they use a lot of other stuff with that, but obviously with hazy IPAs, you're still gonna get kind of like the, you're gonna get the hoppy taste on the end of it that you come to expect, but the color is gonna be more something like orange juice in that case. But in all seriousness, even though you still get the bite that comes with this, on the back end, there is still a little bit of the juicy kind of quality that you get from it. So 
Highly recommend. Obviously, make sure you get stuff that is different groups to prove the fact that this is really a Pittsburgh brewing destination. All right, so before we get to this beer that uh, you just drank, talk about the food you just had to be able to quench that hunger of yours that has clearly been all day. All day. I like an apple for breakfast to try to be healthy. <laughs> um, nope. Shout out to Cody Baker because I'm a big chicken sandwich guy. Uh, pretty much everywhere I go, got a chicken sandwich. It's good. It's, it's very much exactly what I hoped for. Um, nothing too crazy. It's just fried chicken. And I think a lot of places go to, to AWOL with it. It's like, no, I, listen, I literally just want a fried chicken sandwich. Some pickles, some mayo, good. Um, so this is the New Haze from them. Um, if you buy any of their variety packs or anything, you're very well aware of this beer. It's a very common beer from them. Um, the first one was very experimental. I had a lot of shit on my arm. Uh, but this one, you know, it's, it's one of those beers that I know. I'm gonna love it. So a little juicy. It's got the IPA taste to it. Perfect beer for today. Uh, I already started with one that feels like I'm on a beach. Another one that feels like I could be on a beach. And hopefully it just doesn't snow. So we're leaving Southern Tier. Uh, that's what you would have expected. I mean, enjoyed all the beer, enjoyed all the food. I feel like it's pretty easy to love that place. Yeah, I, and like I said, I feel like it gets a bad rap just because of the fact that it's not a true, you know, Pittsburgh microbrewery and all that. But honestly, I mean, like, what more could you ask for? It's literally a craft brewery in between two stadiums and a concert venue. So, like, come on. Like, yeah, keep, we love it. Yeah, if anything, like, this should give you more of a reason to go see it. I mean, where else are you going to go? We're uh, going to let this car go because I'm scared. Oh, yeah, good point. Okay, we'll go down. <laughs> All right, Greg, where are we off to next? Uh, next, we are heading up further in Northside to a real couple PA micro breweries for anyone else who wants to join along. We're going to be going to 412 Brewery. 412. Hashtag 412. Hashtag 412. <laughs> Hashtag 412. <laughs> <laughs> no. No.